Hi, it's Minnie. Welcome to my channel. You know, the more mature I become, the more I notice the fine lines and wrinkles in my skin. The longer it takes for spots to fade and how my pores and skin aren't as tight as they used to be. I don't mind growing more mature, but I want my skin to remain as youthful as possible for as long as possible. I want to be one of those women like my mother, who you look at and say, what? She's 60 what? No, really. <laughs> or when I go out with my kids, the people will ask, is she your sister? So by taking care of my skin now, I can ensure that I'll have a younger, vibrant looking skin the more I mature. My goal is to use only natural products on my face and skin and totally eliminate using chemicals on my skin as much as possible. I purchased Heritage Store Rose Petals Rose Water to use on my skin and I have fell in love with rose water. I may just make my own rose water the next time. But today I want to share with you some ways that I use rose water for myself, some improvements that I've noticed while using the rose water, and I want to give you some other ways that you can use rose water and then we can all have younger, vibrant looking skin longer. Rose water as a skin toner. After cleansing and rinsing my face, I apply rose water to a round cotton pad and rub the wet cotton pad over my face. Using rose water as my toner is cooling to my skin and with its astringent like properties, rose water helps clean and tighten my pores and tones my skin. The antioxidant properties of rose water will help strengthen my skin cells and regenerate skin tissues. Since using rose water on my face as a toner, I've noticed smaller pores, my acne spots are fading, my skin stays moisturized longer, and I don't have dry patches in my face. Sometimes I look at my skin and I'm like, whoa, I can tell that the fine lines and around my eyes and my forehead are noticeably smaller. And my face has a refreshed look to it. Rose water to treat eczema. I have eczema and I've been having breakouts on my neck lately. If I notice them while I'm toning my face, I'll add rose water to a new cotton pad and rub it over the affected area. Rose water also has anti-inflammatory properties and is great for reducing the redness and irritation of eczema. Or use rose water that I've added to a spray bottle and spritz the affected areas to help calm the itchy feeling and redness. Astringent after shaving. After shaving or waxing, I'll use rose water on a cotton pad and apply it over shaved areas to calm itchiness, redness, and sensitivity. Smelling for calm. Rose water smells amazing to me. I can't wait to make my own to see how my very own would smell. The aroma of roses is said to be a powerful mood enhancer. It rids you of feelings of anxiety and promotes emotional well-being. Thereby making you feel more relaxed, spritzing your pillow with rose water can also help you sleep better after a long day, helping you wake up refreshed. Treating my son's dandruff. Rose water is also known to treat mild scalp irritations and to help get rid of dandruff. My son is having some issues so I put some rose water in a spray bottle just for him to use on his scalp. He has a short haircut so we will have to see how the rose water works for him and I will have to report back to you on that one. Those are five ways that my son and I use rose water, but it can be used for so many more reasons like setting your makeup as a hair treatment, body splash after a shower, refreshing spray, and an aid to heal cuts and wounds. Rose water has definitely been added to my staple skincare products. I cannot wait 
to make my own rose water. And if you want me to do a DIY when I make my own, let me know down in the comment section and then I can come in and do that for you. If you use rose water, then let me know down in the comment section how you use it, how long you've been using it, is it working for you? Just let me know down in the comment section. I really want to know. I want to thank you so much for viewing this video. If you like this type of video for me, go ahead and thumbs it up. That way I know that you like it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to be notified of different videos when I upload them. Y'all have an amazing, amazing day. And I will talk with y'all later. Bye-bye.